And finals coming in the third quarter. Right here in the center of the wall. He's at 16, stands at 514. He finds out the five, two, four, get this and here's the one take, Alan Jack Rodney! And here's the point, coming out of the third quarter. Right here in the center of the wall. He's at 17, stands at 511. He finds out the black. Here we go, third fight of the night. It's now uh, amateur B class rules, which is like actually headshot standing. So this yeah, headshot standing, not on the ground. I know he's actually wearing shin pads, which I didn't do in my day when I was fighting semi pro. But um, no, I've never seen that before. But uh, still headshot standing, so this will be an explosive fight. And here we go. Jack Ruffley is only 16. It said. That would be great to be that young getting experience like this. Yeah, this, this is the, the age you want to start at. Obviously. Yeah, I think when he's 20, man, it's gonna be a beast. Some big shots. Oh, some nice there. headshots then. Got a good body lock there. Maybe looking to, to, to suck the hips in and get, get to the floor. Sam, Sam Thomas defending nicely there, though. It's another East Lanks Predators fighter, isn't it? Yeah. Busy man, Rob Freeman, tonight. Yeah, he'll be wrapping a lot of hands tonight, won't he? <laughs> oh, going for the hip oh, throw nice, there. Nice hip throw there. Feel like maybe he's done a bit of judo with that. Yeah, you got, it's quite dangerous going for the head, though, isn't it? Just for the, the headlock throw. That's it. He's straight back up, though. Now Sam Thomas... Oh, nice. Nice takedown there by Jack, Jack Ruffler. Put him down quite roughly there, didn't he? <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> nice choice of words there, Abby. <laughs> Seemed, that, that throw that Sam Thomas did seemed to have, uh, have uh, woken Jack Ruffley up. He's come out a bit more aggressive now. His wrestling, I'm quite impressed with his wrestling here. He's, yeah, really he's tight. got his hands clinched there and he's, it's going to be hard freeing them legs up. Still looking to climb Sam's doing a great job of putting his base in his hand, looking to get his hips out. Looking really calm there, you know, he really, is. really impressed with that. I'd say it's more tiring for the person trying to keep him down here, wouldn't you? Saying yeah. that, it's tiring for both. It's, a, it's, a, it's very, very tiring for both. I'm for tired just fighters. watching. <laughs> <laughs> Might not look that much, but there's a lot going on here. Yeah, obviously, a lot of energy's uh, being used. Jack's trying to keep the hips down, and obviously <laughs> Sam's trying to push the head away, stand yeah. up, you know. It's, he it's, might do better looking to get his head off the cage, but he's got mount now. It's the bad position now. Obviously, there's still no headshots, but, you know, it's... It's not Jack, Jack roughly in top mount there. Oh, he's, he's back in half guard now. He recorded half guard nicely then, Sam Thomas. Nice little elbow knee there. That was really good. To, really Looking good to, to try and roll him. I think he's going to struggle there, though. Seems to have a quite good base. So what's he looking to do here on top now, now that he's uh, passed it, now he's got to half guard? He's, he's looking to defend that sweep, actually, right at the minute. Oh, he's back in mount. Yeah, I was about to say, he's going to probably try and look to pass the... Pass through the side control amount, which he does. Looking for the submission, yeah. Yeah, maybe look for, uh, maybe set a few body shots to set up the submission from here. But at the minute, he's just keeping his posture, looking not to get rolled, which is very smart. You see a lot of fights where they, um, they get rolled too easy. Maybe get too keen, too excited, looking for either submissions or punches. Yeah. They get rolled too easy. And something that they wouldn't get caught with in the gym. Even though he's 16, he shows a lot of potential there. He's got, he's got nice uh, movement on the ground here. He's looking like he's very experienced, but I don't, I don't think he's that experienced, actually, to be honest. But he, lo he looks like he is. He might have had a lot of fights in school or something. <laughs> Fresh from there. <laughs> Sam Thomas recovers guard nicely then. Got a closed guard. And obviously now there's more submissions for the person on bottom here. Looking to push that arm out for the triangle, like we saw uh, in the first fight of the night uh, against... Uh, Josh, Josh K versus Connor. That was a that was a nice little yeah, nice shot. triangle win quite early on in the round as well. <laughs> Sam's doing a good job of here, you know, staying active on the bottom. Not he stays and uh, Jack Ruffley's doing well, staying safe. And he's passed the guard there nicely. What? Oh, he's, he's nice, nice takedown, very nice. That was a really nice. Now Sam scramble. Thompson's on top in top half guard. He used the well to get up then and then force the takedown. Bit of a sacrifice throw, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a really nice little scramble that set that up. It was, yeah. Press for that. It's like the roles are reversed now, isn't it? Maybe Sam looking to throw a few body shots in, I think, but the minute he's just defending the arm, arm bar. Really impressed with Jack. Wow, that, that was great how he stood up then. Oh, oh, nice flying knee. That looked, that looked powerful. That, that was fantastic. Oh, he's been then caught. Then he's been countered. Leapt in for the flying oh, knee there. That's the end of the round. And got I, caught I, with the right, I, I, right hand. I actually looked at the fight ended, uh, the round ended then, because, I mean, 
the way it was going then, it looked like someone was going to get dropped. That was, that that was, was a great, great round, yeah. Oh, Back and in. forth, good wrestling, good ground game, good stand up. A lot of potential in these fighters, they're only young as well. Yeah. It's good a scary thought, isn't it, have you? Good yeah. how he leapt in with that flying knee, then got caught oh, with there, the right yeah, hand. Right at the end of the round, then. That scores high than the judges, that, doesn't it? If you, I mean, if you're being aggressive right at the end of the round, man. Yeah, finishing the round strong, that's really. It, that, that's what the judges remember. They only have short term memory, the judges, so they only <laughs> remember like, the last few seconds of the round. <laughs> The way uh, Rob Freeman's uh, corner man helps uh, waft the towel around is great. You see a lot of wrist action going on there. That is, that is a that perfect... Before. He knows what he's doing. That's a perfect waft. Looks like he's been to a waft in school. Wafted a few times in his, uh, in his life. Uh, I've, I've noticed that uh, Jack Ruffley has actually got uh, Tom Aspinall in his corner. Tom Aspinall, a very, very talented young fighter. BJJ Purple Belt under his dad, Andy Aspinall. Yeah, yeah, great, great jiu-jitsu family there. You wouldn't want to mess with them, would you? No, he's an absolute no. beast, Tom Aspinall. Uh, yeah. and, uh, that's why Jack has got such good, good ground on the ground. Yeah, yeah, it explains a lot now, oh, doesn't Jack. it? Yeah. <laughs> Jack is really, really Coming impressive. out very aggressive here. Counts with a nice jab and right hand, though, Sam does. But Jack's still coming forward, now he's got the underhooks. Just won't take a backward step, just keeps going forward with that one two. Forward, man. Now he's got underhooks, nice knee to the body then. Can you knee to the head standing in these rules, Abby? Uh, I don't think you can, no, I think it's your body knees only. Okay, but you don't really know. I don't really know. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Bouquet there. Oh, he's going to turn him now with that. that. Sam's actually going to turn him now, he's got that underhook. And that 100% grip, and he's actually took him down with it. That was great, that. Some great wrestling there. Yeah, obviously, Jack going, oh, for, the, position to be in. going for the single, and, and Sam just turned him. Left himself a bit exposed there, didn't he? That was, that was a brilliant display of wrestling from both fighters there. It, yeah, it really was. Now, Sam in a dominant position there, in a nice tight side control. But he's getting his knee, and he looks to be recovering guard. As we say, uh, Jack's got Tom Aspinall in his corner, who's a great jiu-jitsu player, so... Coming from a, a good jiu-jitsu family with his dad, Andy, so... You, you know that uh, Jack's got good jiu-jitsu just through that. Obviously, he can sh he's showcasing it here tonight. He looks fantastic on the floor. Yeah, Obviously, both, both fights look really well-rounded, to be fair. Very back-and-forth fight. Sam, good Sam, match, Sam, good Sam, matchmaking by Will Burke, isn't it? Yeah. Really good matchmaking, yeah. This Very is even fight, really though. even fight, yeah. So, letting off some uh, ground and pound to the chest Letting there. off a bit of steam. Bennett. Yeah. So maybe looking to settle the submission there. The most looking? important thing here, I think, is not to get rolled, though. Just keep in position, keep yeah? Keep position. And obviously look to hit, but make sure you don't get rolled. Look, maybe looking for the triangle set up with the knee yeah, over the got, arm. It looks like he's, he might have a mounted triangle there, but he's not actually got the, the legs locked in. He's got look the, the early stages of the position. Maybe looking for the arm as well. He's starting to climb that knee up pretty high. In the minute, I can just see the rest trainers. What, what are they? Are they the cost? No, Umbro, I think. Oh, he's controlling him nicely there, though. Oh, nice body shots landing there. They're going to be taking a toll, then. Those body shots, yeah, very heavy, very heavy to the chest. And he's pinning the arm with his knee as well, whilst on top now. Horrible position to be in in a fight. I'm really impressed with it. I think the ref's looking to make sure we don't want the fight stopping. With Sam here, especially because we were saying how good Jack is, you know. Yeah, I would have given the first round maybe to Jack, I think. But now... He's, he's really it looks like the second round's coming, going to be going towards Sam at, th at this moment in the round. Really in the ascendancy now, isn't he? Oh, he's done well to escape bottom mount there, though. And forced, oh, he's standing up now. However, he's in risk with maybe a guillotine here. He's going to struggle getting the takedown just at this minute, but still bumping for it. Nice takedown. Nice takedown. Look, Sam's Sam looking to play, play a bit of a rubber guard there. I think he'd be better off just pushing the head and moving his hips, though, I think. Maybe, yeah. And uh, he's covered his guard back there now. So maybe looking for the triangle, pushing that, that arm It's a bit out. of a modified rubber guard, though, isn't it? He's not actually grabbing under the leg. He's grabbing over the top. But he's, he's give up on that now. Yeah. He's just looking to push on the arm, maybe look to set up a triangle. Good movement on bottom there. Nice how he stood. That was excellent. But he might look like he's going to get the takedown again here. Which he does. So much going on here, isn't there, Abby? Yeah, I'm very impressed by Sam, how he's, he keeps threatening with this position, you know. Obviously, Jack's very strong Credit on to top. Jack for staying safe there, though. He knows that he's at, maybe at risk of his arm or leaving his head exposed and he's defending well. Was that the clappers for the last 10 that seconds? Was the last that 10 was a seconds, quick yeah. round, that, then. 
Who would you give that round to? I, was oh, back and forth. I wouldn't like to be a judge now. I know, same here. I'm glad I'm commentating. Maybe maybe Jack for the dominant mount just when the body strikes, but uh, uh, Sam, Sam that is, sorry. But Jack got uh, quite nice. a few nice takedowns as well, didn't he? So yeah, it's all back and forth. Yeah, it's a hard, hard round to judge that one. Yeah. Oh, Jack, look, uh, Jack looks very, very tired though. He's, he's, he's kind of staggering in his corner. Looking really exhausted now. I know it's Rob Freeman's second man, he's not actually wafting the towel this time. You don't need to waft it in the third round, does it? No, enough? maybe make him a bit colder that. Enough wafting has been done. Wafting days are over. What kind of advice do you reckon uh, Tom's saying there to Jack? Maybe to, to get the takedown and stay on top, I think. Because uh, he did really well with that in the first round. Yeah, maybe settle down once you've got the takedown. Don't, don't, don't look to rush too much. Yeah, rush don't, your get, work. don't get bridged or rolled or anything That's like that. That's it, yeah. Just get a nice deep cross face, stay on top maybe. Yeah. What do you reckon Rob Freeman's looking to say there? Uh, same again, to be honest. You know, get on top and, and win the round. I think this is going to be a real battle for the takedown now. Such an even fight, this, this is a great fight. I think we're going to see a, younger, a, a young good talent here. Good display of wrestling now, I think. Yeah, definitely. I think they're both going to be looking for that takedown early on. Jack does, does look a lot more tired than Sam though. Breathing with his mouth wide open there. Yeah, he's got to be careful that like, if he gets caught, it could... Yeah, with a punch whilst you're breathing like that, it's not good. Oh, like, like, just that. like that. Just like that, oh. oh. And he's, he's still going forward and swinging big looping punches. What a tough lad. He's he is, yeah. Caught with a big sh coming forward. Looking to wrestle, great takedown. Oh, man. Sam just went for that throw there, but ended up on his yeah, back. I think he would have done better trying to sprawl, really. Yeah. Can't be that one in the first one, but I think he's a bit more wise to it now, Jack was. And obviously, you know, with, the, with the, the fight has been a little bit more tired now, it's harder to use those kind of explosive things, it isn't is, it? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I think your wrestling gets a lot sloppier when to, uh, the later the rounds go on, because obviously you get more tired, but yeah. that was, I mean, that was a great takedown again, once again, by Jack. This now, could be the deciding mount, this one, couldn't it? It really is, and now, and now uh, Jack's, Jack's in, in mount. A nice tight mount there. He's actually got a cut on his face, Jack has, and he's been rolled there. From half guard. That's exactly what we were saying, wasn't it? He's got yeah, to be careful. You've got to be careful. You've got to settle the weight down, not rush your work too much. <laughs> Sam's on top now in half guard, maybe looking to set up a Bravo choke, I think. Yeah, he's, oh, he's looking to put some body shots in. I think he was thinking about it, but then. Oh, what's happened here? I don't he know what's happened. Or? I'm not sure what's happened. I don't. I'm not sure. Oh. The fighter's not happy about that stoppage. Yeah, the, Once again, as we say, safety first. The doctor thought he wasn't something wasn't right, so he stopped the fight. He has got a cut on his face and all that, but yeah, he wasn't moving. I don't think it bottom. was the cut that's done it. Yeah, he wasn't moving. He's taking body shots. Maybe it was that. I'm not sure. Well, obviously, yeah. Uh, the referee knows what he's doing, though, so we've got to leave it in his hands. Yeah, I'm sure the details will come to light. Yeah, definitely. In a And it, I mean, it never hurt. It, it, it never feels good losing a fight, but when it's so early on in your career, you just got to take the experience. Especially when you're that talented, you know, it doesn't yeah, make a difference. Definitely, to be honest. both talented fighters. He's. I'm impressed with both fighters. Could have gone either way that one. Say what the save can has to say about the stoppage. Is it, is it seem, would that go down as ref stoppage? Would it? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Yes. Yeah. Great fight though. It was a great fight back and forth. Yeah, both fighters should be really proud of that performance. Good fight by both fighters there. Impressed with both of them. Yeah, and uh, we're we'll moving on to both. Moving well. on now to the, our uh, fourth fight of the night. This is going to be a this is going to be a cracker. It's uh, Tom Hayden versus debut fighter Aaron McDonald. At 77 kilos. I know Aaron weighed in a bit, a little bit underweight. He's giving up a little bit of weight there, but he's very very strong for that weight, isn't he? He's very strong. Yeah. He's uh, very very aggressive as well, isn't he? I'm very sneaky. <laughs> I think you might just underestimate how sneaky he is. It's not 